The Super Bowl is as much about the advertising as it is about the football. Sometimes more so. I mean, what did you see more tweets about? Peyton Manning or the walking intestines? You never know when IBSD will show up. Every year, brands spend millions on epic ads that beam their products and slogans directly into your living room. I've seen things. But this year, it was way less about TV and more about the internet. More to the point, your phone. Take Jeep's commercial. The stark photos of American icons were displayed in portrait orientation. On your TV, that left big black chunks on either side, but it filled your phone's vertical screen. I've outrun robots. And while Coke's ad stretched to every corner of your set, it also dropped clues about how to buy collectible mini Coke cans that you can't get in regular stores. You had to watch that thing over and over and follow Coke on social media if you wanted one. You could almost call it a secret formula within a secret formula. Well played, Coke. Advil's lo-fi spot was the opposite of a polished TV ad. It looked like something your aunt dropped in your Facebook feed. Of course, it wasn't. But its grainy videos and normal-looking people definitely fit in. And while Von Miller made the game by stepping on Cam Newton, creative agencies brought in an MVP of their own. Big words printed all over your screen. From Budweiser to PayPal, it was a clear strategy to craft media for social feeds where video will likely play without sound. The biggest winner yesterday was actually your smallest screen.